गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेटेस्ट रिवाइज सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स क्लास नाइन्थ पीपल एज रिसोर्स द चैप्टर पीपल एज रिसोर्स इज एन एफर्ट टू एक्सप्लेन पॉपुलेशन एज एन एसेट फॉर द इकोनॉमी रादर दैन अ लाइबिलिटी इन द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट वी सी दैट पीपल एज रिसोर्स इज अ वे ऑफ रेफरिंग टू कंट्रीज वर्किंग पीपल इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर एग्जिस्टिंग productive skills and ability when the existing human resources further developed by becoming more educated and healthy we call it human capital formation that adds to the productive power of the country just like physical capital formation this can seen directly in form of higher incomes earned <coughs> because of higher productivity what is human resource is it like land or labor it is more than that what is human capital is it like rupee paisa or dollar is it more than that here is human capital in the form of doctor teacher engineer tailor etc now we see the story of sakal there were two friends vilas and sakal living in the same village simapur sakal was a 12 year old boy his mother sheela looked after domestic chores his father bhuta choudhary worked in an agricultural field sakal helped his mother <coughs> in domestic chores he also look after his younger brother jitu and sister situ his uncle shyam had passed the matriculation examination but was sitting idle in the house as he had no job bhuta and shila were eager to teach sakal they forced him to join the village school which he soon joined he started studying and completed his higher age secondary examination his father persuaded him to continue his studies he raised a loan for sakal to study a vocational course in computers sakal was meritorious and interested in studying from the beginning with great vigor and enthusiasm he completed his course after some time he got a job in a private firm he even designed a new kind of software this software helped him increase the sale of the farm his boss acknowledged his services and rewarded him with a promotion now we see the story of vilas 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 was an 11 year boy residing in the same village as sakal vilas father mahesh singh was a fisherman <coughs> sorry His father passed away when he was only two, 12 years or oh sorry 2 years old his mother named geeta sold fish to earn money to feed the family she bought fish from the land owner's pond and sold it in nearby mandi she could earn only rupees 20 to 30 a day by selling fish vilas became a patient of arthritis his mother could not afford to take him to the doctor he could not go to school either he was not interested in studies his he helped his mother in cooking and also look after his younger brother mohan after some time his mother fell sick and there was no one to look after her there was no one in the family to support them vilas too was forced to sell fish in the same village he like his mother earned only a merge income countries like japan have invested in human resource they did not have any natural resource these countries are developed rich countries they import the natural resources needed in their country and how did they become rich and developed they have interest invested on people especially in the field of education and health these people have made efficient use of other resource 
like land and capital efficiency and the technology evolved by the people have made these countries rich and developed economic activities done by men and women we all know that people has been engaged in various activities these various activities have been classified into three main sectors these three main sectors are the primary sector secondary and tertiary based on the picture you can classify these activities the topmost figure primary middle one manufacturing or secondary and the third one is tertiary people has been engaged in various activities and these various activities are classified into three main sectors primary secondary and tertiary now we will see primary activities such as agriculture forestry animal husbandry fishing poultry farming and quarrying in this we directly obtain the things or the final product directly from the nature secondary activities manufacturing is included in the secondary sector here we are refining and modifying the raw material into a finished good tertiary activities like trade transport communication banking education health services insurance all that comes in tertiary activities now another important aspect of population that is actually the quality of population and we all know that the quality of population depends on the literacy rate health of a person indicated by the life expectancy and skill formation acquired by the people of the country or you can say the quality of the population ultimately decide the economic rate and growth of the country illiterate and unhealthy people or population are a liability for the country whereas literate and healthy population are an asset first important pillar is education there is a provision made for providing universal access retention and quality in elementary education with a special program emphasis on the girls there is also establishment of pace setting of a school like navodaya vidyalaya in each district in today's zoom class also we talk about this one vocational streams have been developed to equip large number of high education high school students with occupation related to the knowledge and skills the plan outlay on education was also increased from 151 crores in the first plan to 43.43825 crores in the third plan the expenditure on education as a percentage of gdp <coughs> also rose from 0.64% in 1951 to 52 from this to 3.98 in 2002 and 3 the literacy rate have increased from 18 to 65% in 2005 literacy is not only a right it is also needed if the citizen are perform their duties and enjoy their rights properly however a fast difference is noticed across different sections of the population literacy among male is nearly 50% higher than females literacy <coughs> rate varies from 96% in some districts of kerala to below 30 degree in some parts of madhya pradesh the primary school system has expanded over 5 lakhs villages in india expansion of schools have been diluted by sarva shiksha abhiyan which is a significant step toward the providing elementary education to all children in the age group of 6 to 14 years by 
10. It is a time-bound initiative of the central government in partnership with the state and local governments and the community for achieving the goal of <coughs> sorry goal of universalization of elementary education midday meal scheme has been implemented to encourage attendance and retention of children and improve their nutritional status that's all in this video i hope you are able to understand